Well, let me go back to this email. He says, um, love your insights on everything that's going on within the show. It makes me think about a lot of when it comes to R&B. You all show is really, really rocking. Found you all through the Omar Wilson episode on YouTube and reached out to Stacy once again to get with her and see how beautiful she is in person. But my question is, what now pour me that email. Okay. I'm see it. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 as y'all talking, I'm gonna forward it to you, Stacy. <laughs> um, right. So it's uh, so he goes. What R&B singer from the '90s in a group would you all have one that slept with? Garfield from Shy. Mm. I mean, I can see that. That's a that's a yeah yeah. I can see that. It, I, I can't even hate on that. Then, Garfield from Shaq. That was going to be my man. We were going to be together. Um, I also take Romeo from Immature for 200, Alex. Oh, so he's Rome. the backup. Romeo's yeah, the backup. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I was out of that. Romeo from Immature as well. So and Romeo's so, the backup. Yeah. Who else? Um, Everybody was the backup besides Marcus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It could be me and you, Scott, at that point. I mean, I don't <laughs> understand what they did for real. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. Dalvin, Mr. Dalvin. I was just going to say Joe. Mr. Dalvin. I'm, saying I'm Mr. sorry. Dalvin. I'm sorry. Mr. Dalvin from Jodeci. Garfield from Shad. Romeo from Immature. Dalvin okay. just released some music, too. Why? Because like, it's funny when you were like, you don't have to do nothing. I'm like, oh, that's Dalvin because Dalvin ain't do shit in the group. But, be. But, I'm saying, but I'm saying, but why is Dalvin dropping music? Why? I just saw I just saw a link the other day and he was posted. <laughs> I mean, I, I know I read that somewhere and it like it flashed you know, the past traditional me. R&B look, sunglasses, looking up to the sky. Yeah, yeah, you know, no, but it flashed past me, but I thought it was like a lie. Like I thought it was like something I saw. Like you know, you scrolling, you reading something, you like that's a lie. Dalvin, like, he was, he was only he was known. Dalvin, you just really known for just being in the group and being the most attractive dude in the group. That's, and Devontae that's, was the producer, and Casey and JoJo were the singers. <laughs> and Dalvin can drum, I guess. Yeah. I'm not a drummer to know if he's that good. Yeah, to be yeah, able yeah, to I, say if he's that good or not. <laughs> like, I don't know. There may be other drums who are like, "Oh, he sucks." Play the hell out of them drums. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Scott. What about you? What about oh, you? Uh, uh, from the '90s, uh, it's got to be group though. He said group, group, so it can't be Tony Braxton, nobody like that. All right, group. Damn. Uh, honestly, man, I had a big crush on her too. Uh, Iris from uh, Seven Hundred Two. Okay. Bad, Which one is Iris? The one that died? Oh, no, she had a twin. She was a twin. Yeah, twin. Had, had yeah, twin the twin died. Yeah, Iris. Okay, so the one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 The one, the one that's alive still, that's still in the group. Yeah. yeah. I would advise. I would advise anybody to not look up 702 performances on YouTube. Don't do it. No, it's they're bad. I can, <laughs> I can no, like have you seen their song episode? Man, look here. I love 702 too. Hey. And it was a it, it was before the uh unsung, they started trying to go out and they needed like a year of them just kind of getting together cohesively, like practicing or even five months three months i feel like somebody was like yo we're gonna give y'all 10 grand to come out for the show y'all gonna show up and they figured out try to try to figure out some choreography and everything yeah <laughs> just bad nobody was the uh, only one that was fit the only one that was ready to go was uh music's baby mama the, uh the uh was it kamisha the dark skin was she was good to go she was popping but it, but the other two the other two sisters or whatever no nah. yeah i want to uh throw in an honorable mention is another yeah, one um, so because of my age at the time, sleeping together was not an option. Like we okay. deliberately been sleeping together. Um, but uh, as far as we was, he was going to be my boyfriend, Hakeem from the boys. Oh, okay. <laughs> Me and Hakeem, it was, it was 1988. My Hakeem. Like we, I was going to. Was, was, was it down my heart that got you or crazy? It was a lucky charm. It was actually a little romance, is what did it. But um, to this day, I know that album backwards and forwards, right? Uh, Y'all don't know nothing about Happy, who was the saddest little girl around. 
because her boyfriend moved to another town. I yes. am. Hey. It was a huge. <laughs> that when the wrist tape was uh, in the video. Pranks. Oh, the wrist tape was yeah, in the video. Oh, that's a, that's, yeah, in the uh, happy oh, video, the wrist tape. That's the boy. Who, that's the boyfriend yeah. who moved. Is the wrist tape. Little 12, 13 year old Lorenz. Oh, snap. Yep. I'm going to have to peep that. So, oh, wow. it's good, wholesome songs about just liking a girl and holding a hand. And at seven years old, that worked for me. Well, I mean, hell, it'll work for me now. But hey, look, oh, you want to hold my hand? I can like 30 hold years my later, hand. it still works. <laughs> it still works. 30, you want to hold my I mean, nigga, you want to come hold my hand? That's fine. We can do that. Walk me home. It's cool. I carry my books. Hmm. I wear your jacket. I got the same needs. Ain't shit changed. I got the same needs. Uh, for me, uh, mine was Tanya Kelly from Jade. Mm, which one was she? Yeah, nice skin woman that had the bra the, the long braids. The real, real light. It's hard to say her. Yeah. I didn't know her name. <laughs> I wanted to be her. <laughs> like watching the video and being like, man. Yeah. I want to look just like her. Except what does she look like now? Uh, they try to make a little comeback, but the problem is, um, I believe, is Joy Marshall is like the main singer for Rod Stewart. So she'd been on tour with him for like 20 years. Oh, oh she's jamming. Yeah, <laughs> she's making a paper with Rod Stewart. That check is consistent. She was like, yes. uh, don't walk away, it's just for the culture. <laughs> exactly. Cause she's making good money with um Rod Stewart. With, with Rod Stewart, man. Like consistent and you bitches ain't finna fuck it up. I'm trying to don't walk away, no thanks. Not me. And then my honorable mention is Oni Pounder from uh Nothing Nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, nice. Okay, so yeah. I don't know what their names she are. Was I the know one, she was the lead singer in uh Nothing Nice. Okay. That, the brown skin oh, one. That was <laughs> that. Only pounder and nothing nice was nothing nice. <laughs> oh yeah, my my honorable mention is uh Cindy from uh, Invo. Invo, that's a good one. That's a good and and that's a that's a that's a I I, I wanted to do that one. That's a nice traditional one because they're being in juice. Because yeah. that was just that set you off in juice with her like. And <laughs> it, if you look back at it, she was doing statutory rape. Yeah, that's like she she like young high school dude. Because he was like sixteen or seventeen. Yeah. She was 16, 17. She was a grown woman working at a at a hospital. So we gotta think she's already graduated college. Just kicked the nigga out. <laughs> that she was married to. So she's been married. Oh, <laughs> and got a college degree. Why is nobody talking about that statutory rape in the movie? Mm -hmm. and, and, and maybe she was a CNA. Maybe she got a two-year degree. I don't know. But the way they had her looking, like she was in the ER, like she was like in saving the thing, was still rolled in. You know what I'm saying? That they're saving lives. <laughs> exactly. So that yeah, those are mine, man. Those are mine. So we got one more um, email. Uh, this one comes from uh, this one comes from Sandy. Uh, this is actually from the YouTube page. Uh, she says, "Love you all's interview of Omar." What do you all think another great remake would be for an R&B song? Hmm. I kind of want people to stop remaking shit. Oh, that's a good, that's a good, that's an answer. <laughs> like, yes, I I'm, I'm don't, I don't, I don't want you to remake anything. Like, <clears throat> Mm. I don't think the flavor is the same. Like it sounds corny when I hear even somebody like taking the beat or somewhere the course of a song. Like it sounds corny to me when I hear it. Yeah. Some <clears throat> we, we we can all agree there are some amazing remakes that are out there. Right? Yes, hundred percent. Shout um, out to Omar Wilson. His was his was good. Yeah, like yeah, I came from. Sometimes it's just a really good remake, and uh, sometimes even if you just take a little piece of something, like it can be great, but. Sometimes you at least should alone. I don't know. Because, I mean, how do you come up with that? How do you think of, you hear a song, I would love to hear somebody else sing it. Mm -hmm. Like, they voice match this. <laughs> they you voice know, kill this. It's like, somebody else need to get into this. No. Um, I don't I don't know. You don't have, yeah, we ain't got nothing. <laughs> What's funny is I'm what I, my what I went to my mind went to. There's a song by Beyonce. Mm. 
well, if Beyonce is known for it. It's called Resentment, right? Um, I fucking love this song. I freaking love Resentment. But she didn't write it. Posh Spice wrote it. So it's actually a Posh song. Really? Posh, wow, I didn't know that. Posh Spice wrote it. Um, J. 